three weeks after he first said he had the support of the majority in parliament, Malaysian opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim finally got to meet the king. He was carrying what he says is proof he has a convincing majority to form a new government. I would appeal to the general Malaysians to exercise um, patience and wisdom uh, and to allow um, the king to um, digest and decide based on um, the spirit of the constitution and the discretion of His Highness. The response from the palace came quickly. Shortly after Anwar's news conference, the palace issued a statement that seemed to contradict Anwar's assertion that he provided evidence of majority support in parliament. The statement said Anwar told the king how many members of parliament support him, but did not provide their names. It went on to say the king, also known as the Agong, has advised Anwar to abide by and respect the constitutional process. For Anwar now, the risk is that his credibility is under threat. In order for to reach the numbers that he's claiming of over 120, uh, this is uh, the perceptions are that this involves some members of UMNO who used to lead Malaysia before 2018 for decades, but particularly from the party uh, are the individuals who have charges against them. The Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin appears, at least for now, to have held on to his job. I leave it to the best judgment of the Agong. Yeah. The Agong, uh, I think, is the most learned and qualified person. Anwar is following Muhyiddin's own strategy. In February, he led a group of MPs out of the governing coalition to join forces with politicians he had defeated in a general election in 2018. They include former Prime Minister Najib Razak, who's been convicted of corruption. Anwar has fought for years to unseat a governing alliance that had been in power for more than 60 years. He was still in prison for sodomy during the 2018 election on what he says were politically motivated charges. But there was an understanding between him and the then Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad that Anwar would be made Prime Minister after two years. That never happened. If Anwar's attempt on Tuesday to convince the king of his right to govern fails, he could still propose a motion of no confidence against the Prime Minister when Parliament reconvenes next month. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.